Hi, welcome back to Plant Life Project. Today we're going to be continuing the series on how to grow houseplants in your fish tank. Uh, today's video in particular we're going to be talking about how to maximize the growth of pothos in your fish tank. Many people are using pothos uh, to help filter their aquarium water. It's such a great plant at removing those nitrates and phosphates directly from the water column, but there is a way that we can maximize this strategy uh, to further reduce the need for water changes and gravel vacuuming, etc. We're going to look at how and why this strategy works so well, and we're also going to take a look at the growth comparison of the leaves and stems before and after this strategy is implemented. And make sure you stick around toward the end of the video because I'm going to give you two more easy to grow, heavy feeding house plants that are also excellent at filtering the aquarium water. Well, before we get started, be sure to like and share this video and let me know if you find this content helpful and enjoyable. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell uh, so that you can continue learning about growing house plants in your fish tank. Well, let's get back to talking about pothos. The pothos growing in the fish tank uh, works by removing those nutrients directly from the water column. That's how most people are using it. And a lot of people have had great success with that. It's helping to balance out their water chemistry and it's reducing the need for a lot of the water changes. But so many people don't realize if they let those roots grow down and into the substrate, then it will greatly improve that plant's ability to clean the water. Most people are trimming the roots before they can get down to the substrate or they're growing the pothos in a bog filter or a sump filter type setup where that water has to be pumped mechanically through that filter in order for the pothos to do its job. But if you can grow the pothos directly in the fish tank, let those roots go through the water column and tap into that substrate, it will increase the plant's filtering ability exponentially. And this is measurable by the improvement in water quality and of course by the improved growth of the plant, which we'll look at in a few moments. Having the pothos growing in a, a shallow gravel substrate is especially beneficial to that type of tank because in a shallow gravel, the waste uh, can build up so fast and it can only break down so fast before it just leaches the nitrates into the water column. But with all those plant roots through the substrate, and just the plant's ability to feed so heavily, well, it really helps to balance out that nitrogen cycle. And you've got the added benefit of the pothos growing immersed or with its leaves above the water surface where it gets all the CO2 it needs. So that com combined with all the nutrients it needs in the substrate, well, this is every plant's dream, right? <laughs> its growth will explode. Uh, this is a strategy that's so simple, but yet it's so overlooked by many people. Uh, and this is what plants need, right? I mean, the roots need soil or a substrate media of some kind to grow in. You know, I've got education and 20 years uh, work experience in landscape horticulture. And for some reason, it took me a minute to figure out, hey, the plants need to be have the roots in the substrate. But for some reason, that principle uh, uh, transferred to an aquarium setting, it took me a minute to figure that out. With roots extracting nutrients directly from the water column, in addition to an extensive root system running through the substrate of the entire tank, well now you have a much more effective plant filter. And hey, here's an idea. What if the pothos, as well as other plants growing in the substrate, was your filter? What if you didn't need an appliance to filter your water? Well, it's very possible. It happens in nature every day. But that'll be a, a good conversation to explore another time. Right now, let's take a look at the growth comparison of the pothos before and after those roots tapped into the substrate. And don't forget, I have two more houseplants to recommend in addition to the pothos. As you can see, there is a significant, dare I say dramatic increase in plant growth once those roots tapped into the substrate. This jump in leaf and stem size is hard evidence that, those, that this plant is extracting nutrients, specifically nitrates and phosphates, at a much greater rate and a much greater volume than before when the roots were just feeding off of the water column. So what about some other houseplants besides pothos 
that we, that, that we can use in this application to help filter the water. Well, there's two that I want to recommend to you that I've had tremendous success with and they're easy to grow, they feed heavy, and number one is Dwarf Umbrella Sedge. So Dwarf Umbrella Sedge is normally considered an outdoor pond plant, but I have found that it makes an excellent house plant and it is especially excellent at filtering an aquarium. You just want to make sure that you select the dwarf variety which gets 24 to 36 inches tall compared to the giant umbrella sedge which gets 6 to 7 feet tall. But check out the growth on this dwarf umbrella sedge that has occurred just in the past 10 months. And the second plant is peace lily. It's so common, so easy to grow, and so great at filtering the water. In its natural habitat, it also grows along streams and rivers, which makes it perfect for an immersed aquarium plant. Uh, just make sure that at least half of the total height of the plant is above the water. So now you know how to maximize the use of pothos in your fish tank by letting those roots tap down into the substrate. Hopefully you can get some started soon and save yourself on water changes and gravel vacuuming while having a more balanced, healthier ecosystem at the same time. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, it's all about the plants.